These fourth graders from Arcola Elementary School in Wheaton put down their pencils and closed their books for an afternoon of exploration. Bio Blitz. Is there yeah. anyone brave enough to give a I will. Pet? I will. I will. One at a time, one at a time, one at a time. They are participating in Bio Blitz. Don't squeeze it, just Don't put your fingers it, just, on just so you just can't escape. escape. An event where teams of students led by local experts. That is a, called a mallard duck. We have the Canada geese around here. It's a type of waterfowl, type of water bird. It's from DEP, County Parks, MCPS, and the Audubon Society. And I'm a graduate student at George Washington University, and I study ants. Work together to find and identify as many species of plants, animals, fungi, and other organisms as possible. A lot of these kids don't have haven't even been to a stream before. This is their very first time, and, and even further than that, they don't know about these macroinvertebrates that are living under the water. And furthermore, they actually don't even see these fish either. They might have seen it in an aquarium, but they never seen it in the wild, which is something very new to them. And it's very eye-opening, just like you were saying, that there are these living animals inside of here, and they actually matter. They actually can tell us whether or not their stream is healthy and they uh, take that with them throughout life. Arcola is just steps away from one of Montgomery County's gems, Sligo Creek Park, where dozens of species live and thrive. Yeah, what we're looking for are organisms like this right in here. Councilmember Craig Rice came along to see what these young naturalists discovered. Well, the reality is, is that our environment is also a classroom. Yeah. And so getting out of that traditional pretty awesome. classroom and getting into and seeing what's happening outside so they can actually put some of the things that they're learning about into practice and see what it actually means on a touch, feel, taste basis is incredibly important. And you see the kids, they're so excited because the things that they've learned about in the classroom, in the textbooks, they're now able to see and then translate that into what it means for them in their real world lives. This bioblitz documented many aquatic and terrestrial critters, including species of fish, crayfish, and other beings found in the waters of the park. This educational experience had the full attention of all the young scientists. At first I was kind of like scared because I thought that it was going to pinch me, but then I was like, oh, it's like calm. It's not like the, um, it doesn't pinch. Yes, I'm going to try to learn more about nature. And I think that I'm going to study about this when I'm older, probably. Arcola Elementary is just one of the many schools in Montgomery County that participate in the BioBlitz program. It's through this program officials hope to underscore the importance of conservation and highlight the biodiversity of our county. Uh, to be able to come out to a stream and see all of the biodiversity that's here, but also understand some of the challenges that are facing that biodiversity in our environment as a whole. Unfortunately, you wouldn't want to see a lot of these because that would show that the water quality is not good. So it's a really great opportunity during Chesapeake Bay Awareness Week to talk about, you know, what all of this means for the healthiness of our bay, for the healthiness of our waterways as a whole, and also for our earth as we battle climate change. In Wheaton, I'm Susan Kennedy for County Report This Week.